Um, hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video. Today, I'm going to be talking about what's coming up for this month, because if you don't know, it's August, and that means there's stuff to do over in the day, and we already know what's going to happen because of two years' time, but funny enough, our timeline has gotten a little bit screwy now, since all the changes and stuff, so I'm going to talk about probably what you can expect for this month. So, let's get into it. That's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like. It helps a whole bunch. You can comment down below. Tell me what you are looking forward to in this month. This month, And uh, let's get on to it. So, the reason I say things are screwed up is because originally, the Ukyo, which is currently what's going on, was supposed to happen... It happened in Japan in July. But because of our timelines, we had the summer rerun first. And then after summer, we got Ukyo. Um... So that kind of changes things around. So you can see this was there. August was this. So our August would be something around here. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's no, there's probably not going to be anything related to the Lost, uh, the Moonlight Lost Room release campaign. Uh, simply because we didn't get this. I don't. I think we may have gotten this CE. I actually don't remember if we have it or not. But if we haven't gotten it, chances are we will get it eventually. If you don't know, <laughs> here's the funny thing about this, if you don't know, this is the reason why uh, Fago is not on Co-op anymore, <laughs> because Co-op, uh, as you can see here, originally this was a rhythm game, and the original, there would only be about this many downloads, uh, after that the app would basically be hidden, and that's the way it was supposed to go, but then Co-op's dumbass decided to just be like, nah man, whatever, download it as much as you want. And Fago got angry at them and basically said, we're ceasing desisting you. Ceasing desist, desisting you? Cease and desist. Uh, we're hitting you with that, get your shit off of your platform. And they said, listen, we're sorry, we're gonna do it, can you please uh, forgive us? And the answer has always been no. And that's why uh, Fago is no longer on Co-op. If you've tried to look for the JP version, that's why we have to go through APKs if you actually want to run the JP version of the game. So, good job, Co-op, on that one. I actually should check if to see if it ever came back, but I'm going to assume no, because Co-op is like a technically legal... Yeah, I think Co-op is legal. But yeah, there's no version of Fago on there at all. You just can't do it anymore. So if you ever wondered the reason why, that was the reason why. Damn it, it really needs to update right now. Don't up... Okay, whatever. Install the new, uh, no, I don't want to update. No, I can't do it. I hate you sometimes, go up. So annoying. Anyway, let me get back into it. I don't don't expect anything then from this. We never got this. This has always been a very weird flex thing that they've always done. Where they just decided to release a rhythm game for a limited time and then they were done. Which is maybe the biggest flex that maybe you make a little bit too much money off of a go. If you're allowed. Hmm? Yeah, I did. That's why I mentioned. Uh, and now that I've done my due diligence, look it up there. Yeah, it's it's gone. The game has been swallowed by an unknown force. The answer is co-op acted stupid, and now it's gone. You can apparently still see reviews from it though, which is funny on there. Anyway, next we have the 21 uh, million download campaign, which is probably what's going to be after the Ukio. Um. Here's the rewards, 10 silver apples, 10 of the regular EXP, 10 gold apples, 10 million, 10 foe, 10 foe, corona foes I think is what they're called. No, I think I might be thinking of the golden ones. The golden ones are called corona foes or something. Uh, crystallized. No, did they change the term? Crystallized? I guess no. I could have sworn one of them was called the corona foe, but whatever. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Uh, 10 tickets, which is nice. And then we get some new stuff, like reach final ascension with uh, one saber, basically up to five times for each class, ex except for... No, okay, thankfully the extra classes are just, yo, just get five extra, you're fine. And then there's some limited missions, like defeat 20 humans, defeat 20 automata, defeat 3 chaotix, defeat 3 kings, defeat 3 man, defeat 3 rulers, bring at least one Chinese servant, clear 2 limiteds, clear 4 limiteds, clear all limiteds and you're good for a single ticket, which seems like a lot of effort for a single ticket, but whatever. Um, and then, some great and suck, which is going to be very nice for, <laughs> you can go back in there for going crazy with the 5 EXP. Uh, all fake grand order epic of remnants main quests are exempt from this campaign. All free quests are exempt from this campaign. Well, I think it's the half AP, yeah, something like that. 
After this campaign ends, Fuki and Atlantis 1 4 AP will revert back to their permanent 1 half AP state. And then there's also a present box maximum not yet redeemed item slot expansion, goes from 350 to 400. And then we have some stuff in the workshop like the Lady of Red Jewels command seal. And then there's a new, uh, there's personal cooking, a new CE, and then God Binding Chains. I actually thought, aren't these reruns of something? Could have swore we've already had God Binding Chains and Lady of the Red Jewel Command Seal. Yeah, they're reruns. Okay. And then some other updates. Um, strength things for Wu, for Little Wu, and for uh, Lee. There you go. I don't know why Lee's mind, <laughs> Lee's name skipped my mind, but whatever. And then we have this banner, which has she, uh, the Emperor on it, then Lee, then Concert Yu, and then we have Wu, and then we have Jin Ki, and then we have Lu Bu, a, a banner you can pretty easily skip, though I will say that at least two of these dudes are story locks, so they're kind of hard, they're kind of a pain in the ass to actually get. Um, thankfully, Concert Yu is actively terrible. If you have the summer version, you have the best version of, Wu, of Yu at the moment. I don't know why they made her so terrible, considering what she's supposed to be in the story, but eh. Maybe she's just bad at fighting. She's just actually actively terrible at it. And Lushuan, I remember... I used them a whole bunch. I don't use them anymore. I think his, his very outdated skill set. Yeah, this being buff is good, but... All his stuff lasts for one turn. <laughs> and then you're done. And then that's really just it. They don't really build units like this anymore. The one and done type of dealios. Uh, but next, and then there should be an interlude campaign. Which will have new interludes for Kama, Shuten, uh, Gozen, Suzuki, Go Suzuka, yeah, Suzuka Gozen, uh, Atlanta, Red Hair, and Avisabron. So some of these will be buffs: the Shuten, the Suzaku, the Atlanta, and the Avisabron are all upgrades of some kind. Avisabron, as I think, is a Noble Phantasm upgrade, and the others are skills. So that's nice. And then there's going to be a summoning campaign to go with it, um, featuring Shuten, uh, Atlanta, funny enough, not Kama, because she already has a banner, Avisabron, and Red Hair. I really like Red Hair. He's story locked. He's a three story lock, so if you like Shuten, you should probably try for it, because it's worth having uh, Red Hair, even though quick most people have moved on from Quick Meta. I still think he's a pretty good Quick Servant for a writer. Alright, and then next, and this is probably the big thing that'll go out for August, is the dance tournament in the Land of Shadows, or Skafest as I call it, not the other thing, because that's the bad way of pronouncing it. Um, and it's a lotto event, so go crazy. This is basically the replacement for um, Guildfest and Nerofest. It's uh, one of those, though funny enough, they don't ever do a follow-up of this, I think. I don't think, I don't know, I think from here on they just re-ran Nero and Gilfest, stuff like that. But yeah, this is where you'll be able to get a, um, this is the, f I think this is our first Grail Front? Yeah, this is the first time we'll be getting a Grail Front for this, so it's going to be a new type of event. Very interesting. I don't know anything about it because I've just been basically waiting, but it's very different looking. I think it's basically just like a little tactical thing. Should be fun to actually try out for the first time and see how it goes. There's also going to be event bonuses. The summoning campaign is pretty obvious. It's going to be uh, Skahawk, and also Dirmud, and Finn McCool, and Tamamo Cat, my favorite Celtic warriors. <laughs> These four right here. Um, funny enough, all, all of them are pretty solid. Uh, Finn, for sure, is the big up in arts now. He was a meme for a very long time, and he's still memed as bad, even though he's good. But I think it's more because people don't actually use very many male servants, so he's been memed all to hell. Um, Skahawk obviously is extremely powerful. I like her a whole bunch, and she has a very powerful bunny outfit from this event. I also like Tamamo Cat, and I don't have Deer Mood, so... I'm not going to be summoning on this because I already have her at NP2, so... Uh, I, um, do, I, I never... I, I keep saying this to myself where I'm like, oh, I should summon at least for the CEs. And then I never use any of these for actual, like, lotto farming. I only really use lotto time to actually lotto grind. So I should stop being stupid. We already have our animation update, but we should get a strength thing for this skill, which is pretty nice. Pretty good. 
So yeah, that's basically what you can expect for this month. I'll go more into this when it's actually event time, when it's actually close by, because there's a lot to it, and a lot of, like, materials and stuff, but, you know, fun thing to look forward to at the end of the month. And yeah, that's basically all we're going to be looking for for August, I think. I don't know if they're going to be able to sneak in anything we don't expect. Um, they w they did do that for to us this summer, but I don't actually expect us to have anything like that again until sometime in December. So yeah. Actually, now that I look at this, our entire timeline is like a full... I wonder if by the end of this we'll be back on track, but right now we're basically like a... Strange, strangely a month ahead, but also by the time of this, I don't know strange if i were to have one thing to say if we were to do a tiny weird little catch-up thing they should really rerun samba quets if you don't know this um samba quets and santa karna are the only units to never get a rerun uh who are christmas units <laughs> it happened to both of them it's weird that it's happened twice but it has happened twice so something to look forward to but yeah that's later down the month we'll see yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Wish you all the best of luck on whatever you decide to summon. If you're summoning on Kama, good luck to you. I don't need to summon on Kama because I already have Kama, so I'm good. Me and my brother both have her, so there's really no reason for us to summon on. But I know plenty of people are summoning on her, so if you do summon, I hope wish you the best of luck. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.